So this video is basically how to fix the issue with um, with Cydia not working. All right, so this is a tutorial how to jailbreak your phone. So if you're like most people, this is what I did. I went to jailbreakme9.com. Once you go to there, you'll get this screen. You click on download. This little message should pop up. You click install. You get out of here. You go to the home screen. And then you'll see the program loading. So we have to wait until it loads. Now that it's installing, that's what you're going to use to jailbreak to get City on your phone. So um, you have to go into settings to change something. If you click on this, you'll get this message. You don't want that. So what you have to do is go into settings, go to general, scroll down a little bit, almost to the end, and then you'll see this right here, device management. Click on that, click on this build, and then you have to trust it. Once you click trust, it should be done. Now, what you have to do is just go back to this thing and click on here and accept notifications and then you see the little circle. You click on it and basically right here it tells you to lock the screen and it'll start uh, installing Cydia for you. So what you do is just lock the screen and then you should see it light up and it should have a little message saying that it's installing. That's how it normally it goes. As you can see on this one, it didn't do that message. And uh, the, because of that, this is what's going to happen. Uh, just a little FYI, this is this phone has... Uh, I previously had 8.3 or something. I don't know, I had some other... Um, firmware on here. Anyways, this is basically what happens. Uh, when it doesn't work properly, you'll get this stupid error. So, Cydia won't open. On my phone, what happened was uh, Cydia would open, but nothing would load. Right? And uh, this is my phone. The way I have it set up now is that I have a Cydia. So let me get out of here. I have Cydia. And as you can see in the bottom, Cydia is working. My only issue is I I've downloaded things. I can find things like, uh, let's see, uh, iFile. See, it'll show the search and all that. I can search it. Let's say I click on that. And uh, I can install it or whatever if I wanted to. That's uh, I have no issue finding things on my own. My only issue that I haven't resolved yet is um, basically Cydia. When you go to Cydia, you go to Features and all these apps, all these little things, these don't load. That's the only thing I haven't been able to figure out. But to be honest with you, I don't need those because I already know what tweaks I like. So. And uh, on mine, I've already installed like by default, and because I like switching my thing, and then Zeppelin. But basically, the way to uh, get Cydia to work, and basically not so you don't have this issue right here of it not opening up, or the issue where it opens up and nothing loads, it just has errors and errors and errors. Is you have you have to go to iTunes, connect your phone, go to iTunes, back up everything, and then basically what you're going to do is restore iPhone. So you're going to start like a new, um, a new, basically a new phone. That's the only way I've been able to do it so that I can use it. So right now it's extracting the software as you can see and I'm gonna get rid of everything on here. Cydia and everything else. 
I think the issue that I'm having is that I had the uh, I had it previously um, jailbroken, and uh, I don't want to use the computer method. I want to use this method because it's just easier, and then um, it also you don't have to put in your uh, email account, the login thing. Even if you make a fake one, I don't I just don't want to. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, uh, basically restore the phone. Like it feels from scratch. And then I'm gonna do this whole entire process from scratch. And then that's how you get what's on my phone. The ability to actually be able to log into Cydia and search different for different packages. Um, Alright, so now that uh, I've restarted the thing, I'm going to update the settings on the computer. It's going to be updating the carrier, and then my phone is restored, so I have to do all this again. Which is English, United States, or whatever you're at. I am going to put in my Wi-Fi code. And there we go, it's joining. I am going to turn off or disable locations because I don't want any of that. I'm going to set up the ID touch later. Continue. I am going to not put in a passcode because I don't want to complicate things. Continue. I am going to set up as a new phone and then later on I'll reload everything back to it. At this point I disconnected it from the computer. Anyways, uh, I'm going to put, I don't have it, I'm going to sign up later, don't use, I'm going to accept their terms, and then I will turn off Siri, and I don't want to send data. I'm going to choose Zoomed, because it's just easier, and now I can start using it. Now, that that's all set, I'm going to go again. So this is a brand new phone. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go back to Safari, I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on Gel Break Me 9.com And you're gonna get this screen again, right? Just like before. Scroll up a little. Once again, hit download. Hit install. Then you can exit out of here. And once again, it's loading. So we just wait for it to load. Installing. Now, once it's installed, I go into settings. I'm gonna go back into this is settings right so you go into general then you move all the way down device management then you click on this then click on trust trust we're all set with this now we're going to go back to the jailbreak me app you're going to click on it accept notifications click on the circle thing and then at this point, like I said before, it basically tells you to lock the screen. So we're going to lock the screen. And right now you should see the little message pop up. And it should take 10 to 30 seconds for it to actually refresh. So I'm just going to move it, move it, because I don't want to open it, but I want to see it actually reset. So if you remember from my first time around that I did this, it already it already reset right, so that's a dead giveaway that your jailbreak is not going to work if it automatically pops up the message and then your phone resets automatically. And now it reset. All right, so we should have Cydia. So let's look. There it is, Cydia. So now let's it should open up and it should load. There it goes, it's loading. And that's how you get Cydia. And I'm just curious to see if it's gonna do the same thing I did on my phone with uh, features. Start with. 
Well, there's nothing there, but I mean, it's still loading, so... So we'll just let it do. So basically, that's what you want to do. And now, after you have all this set up, then you plug in your cable to your computer and reload all the stuff that you had on it. And enjoy. Hopefully this helped. If it did, share it. Let other people know, because I've been... I jailbroke my phone yesterday and I could not find an answer to this. I did not know why and all the videos on it were like basically explaining, explaining the same way that I did the first time so I didn't understand what I was doing wrong and some people said just keep on uh, resetting your phone and trying the app and that'll fix it eventually. It didn't work out for me and uh, when I got home I got tired and I just decided to erase everything and basically this is what I got so there you go and as you can see Cydia down here so you can see that it's actually working and let me see let's look up yep see everything's popping up there so like zap zeppelin so there we go I am going to install that one because that's a favorite one that I have look at it go now you still need to click on that app if you turn off your phone, like if it dies or if you turn it off. Uh, with Resprings you don't have to use that app again to um, reactivate the jailbreak. So as you can see, I'm going to respring right now. My phone's going to reset or do whatever it does, respring. And you shouldn't have to use the app. So you don't have to freak out that much. Because some people I was reading were worried about the respringing, thinking they would have to do the whole entire process again, but you don't. So let me open up the phone, and uh, so as you can see, Zeppelin's working because I got the little Batman logo up there. And let me click on Cydia. Cydia should be working because I didn't turn off my phone. There you go. And that's all to it. So like I said, this helped you. Share it. Enjoy it. Uh, have fun with your jailbroken phone that it actually works.